people who snore sleep like this, and then during the daytime, they become mouth breathers. He said they become less attractive than the people who are um, uh, nose breathers. When people mouth breathe, there's an, an elongation of the jaw, droopiness of the, of the eyelids, and the entire jaw structure really changes in ways that are not aesthetically favorable. Fortunately, when people switch to becoming nasal breathers, and of course that takes some encouragement either by mouth taping or doing their cardiovascular exercise with mouth closed or by doing the sorts of exercises that we talked about earlier, when they switch to becoming nasal breathers by default, the aesthetic changes that occur are very dramatic and very favorable, including you know, sort of elevation of, of the eyebrows, not, not in an artificial sense or in a kind of outrageous way, but elevation of the cheekbones, sharpening of the jaw, and most notably improvements of the teeth and the entire jaw structure. In fact, one simple test of whether or not you can be an efficient nasal breather and whether or not you've been nasal breathing efficiently or most of the time in the past or whether or not you've been relying more on mouth breathing that was described in the book Jaws is you should be able to close your mouth and breathe only through your nose Again, this is at rest, not during exercise necessarily, but you might do it during exercise. But close your mouth, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and it should fit behind your teeth. And you should be able to nose breathe in that position. Now, many people won't be able to do that, but fortunately, as I mentioned earlier, if you nasal breathe, that is you deliberately nasal breathe when at rest for some period of time, you will experience an increased ability to nasal breathe, and you should also experience some addition of space within the palate of your mouth to allow your tongue to sit more completely on the roof of your mouth. This is especially true for children that perform this technique. Yeah, I'll do cardio. I do a long run once a week or some long cardio. I do it. Um, I try not uh, mouth breathe the whole time. Can it also change face shape? Yeah. So there's a wild book called Jaws, A Hidden Epidemic by colleagues of mine at Stanford. And they show they have these twin studies one kid grows up in a culture where they eat a lot of soft food, drinking Capri Sun, eating applesauce, baby food. The other one is, you know, got stuck in the jungle or wherever it is, and they're <laughs> chewing on bones and chewing their food. And one kid, these are identical twins, has beautiful jaw structure and high cheekbones, and the eyes look nice and clear. The other kid is like droopy, the teeth are there, and their mouth breathing. They show this, there's one case of this young girl who just, she got a pet, or a pet hamster, I think it was, got a a uh, allergy to the hamster and literally took this beautiful young girl and she just, her face just starts aging at a rapid rate. They get rid of the hamster. She goes back to nasal breathing. They do a little of encouragement of nasal breathing using the mouth closure thing at night, do a little bit of medical tape. And like her, these beautiful, almost like model-esque features come back in this girl. Hmm. Jaw shape and the clear to the nasal passages. You know, really there's no reason why any of us should ever had had, I had braces, but all your teeth should fit in your mouth, mm -hmm. right? And you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed. I can't quite do it. Your, your palate should be somewhat wide, you know? And so when we see, now there's the jawser sizer is really big in Hollywood. That and peptides are like taking over. Wait, a jawser sizer? Yeah, they, these like things where like. Bouncy mouthpiece. <laughs> yeah. It looks, it, the only problem is it makes people drool. It's pretty gross. But you know, you, it's Those work. exercise. They definitely work. They change your facial structure. They dilate the, the, um, uh, the nasal passages. You look at somebody who keeps their facial muscles strong. There's, and this is for women and men, their jaw muscles strong. We're not talking about the like, you know, like, I mean, there's certain people who are like genetic freaks, like my friend Laird Hamilton. He's got, you know, it's like big old neck and like yeah. huge jaw. Like he looks like a, you know, an actor from the seventies or something. He's just yeah. naturally that way. Um, but people who care about their facial structure, especially who don't want, a lot of people are concerned with like, what's going on with my skin? A lot of um, women and men are like putting all the stuff on to figure out how to get rid of the droopy eyes. It's actually a facial muscle issue. And had, were they just to do some jaw exercises and focus on not mouth breathing, it completely changes the structure of the face in just two, three months. And there's, yeah, there's like oh, skincare salons called like Face Gym and other places where they're literally giving your face a workout and you'll notice that it's like a lymphatic type of massage. It'll change oh, after one session. So I imagine just doing the training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when girls are getting like, uh, maybe this doesn't work actually, when girls are getting filler to like put in, like they have the hollow space or whatever here or Gosh. here, does that, does that? Well, I look at the plastic surgery thing now and it's kind of crazy. I mean, maybe this just reflects my age and my generation, but I see some people with wearing so much dark eye makeup, plus they're getting the cheekbone inserts. They look like 
skeletons. Mm. Now that's not, yeah, every listen, everyone's got their taste, especially if they're really lean, you know, and then, but facial structure is something that can be modified. Mm. Um, and so the, having a chewing your food, chewing hard foods is something we used to do a lot more. All this slurping down of food and calories we know isn't good from the obesity side, but it's also not good from the jaw structure, teeth structure, face structure. And it's all related, you know? So that book Jaws is amazing. The People can just look it up online if they yeah. want to buy the book. Just do, um, you know, Jaws, um, mouth structure, face structure, and then just go images and you'll see these pictures. And this was known in the 1800s. There was a book called Shut Your Mouth by a British doctor who talked about the fact mm. that people who snore sleep like this and then during the daytime they become mouth breathers. He said they become less attractive than the people who are um, uh, nose breathers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Fuck. Yeah, it's really interesting. And this is like a zero cost thing, but um, it's not emphasized enough. At all. Yeah. Yeah, it's not I've heard this about This is crazy. 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 Yeah. I, I mean, I saw random things on like maybe TikTok or Instagram of of uh, people who said, yeah, I started chewing this thing or maybe it was oh, the, yeah, jaws. the hard gum. I thought, yeah, yeah, there was a hard gum. Yeah. And I was, I, I thought that this was some like, uh, I don't know, just some ploy, some like gimmick. Some TikTok to, Yeah, to get some quick money out of people. But no, this is legit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And the, there's a, you know, also for avoiding orthodontia, you know, like uh, kids who chew hard food to have to chew their food, eating real food and yeah. chewing their food, not just peanut butter you know, slurping down food all the time. They, using their jaw and their teeth, they have really nice teeth. In fact, the argument was made, and there's a, you know, animals in the animal kingdom have beautiful teeth structure. You don't see the huh. the, the messed up teeth. They have beautiful teeth structure, and they don't wear braces, yeah. but they're carrying flesh and they're doing their mm. thing. We brought this up before. If you look at like mummified people from yeah. like way back in the day, their oh, teeth are always yeah. like pretty good. Yeah. So then why did why did humans start losing their teeth? Is it like the... Uh, this nice structure, you mean? The, yeah, like you even look back at, you know, old presidents and stuff like that. Like George Washington had all fake teeth. Like what did he start ingesting that's getting rid of... Well, I think back then the problem was that, you know, there was no... I mean, dental care is still a good idea. Yeah. In fact, bacteria in the teeth and not... I'm terrible maybe about sugar, flossing. Maybe sugar too? Sugar and yeah, also right. people not flossing. I mean, flossing and, you know... Flossing and tooth care actually improves heart health. This is not pseudoscience. Yeah, I've heard that. Because if you have bacteria living in your mouth, right, and starting to take residence in your mouth and they get into your system, it can cause issues for the rest of your body. Mm. I mean, we, of course, operate as a whole system. Um, you know, I'm pretty bad about flossing. I was one of these kids that had tons of cavities. It was just, and I took decent, I'm going to brush twice a day. I don't know, are any of you three times a day brushers? You get those people. I try to be, those, but I those can't do it. People, they always impress me. They're brushing their teeth after lunch. Yeah, it's not me either. Um, you know, flossing and brushing, definitely good um, to keep bacteria out. But it's amazing what, you know, chewing your food really well yeah. will do for a facial structure. 